Hello, welcome to Organic Acting. I'm Chris Conway. This is top five acting tips for beginners, which are gonna make you a more naturalistic, organic actor. Now, these are all techniques that I've kind of taken from here and there over my years as an actor. Um, they're very useful to me. There's something that I always fall back on. Obviously, your own mileage may vary, but hopefully you can find something in these. Be sure to stay tuned for number one, which is the most important acting tip and technique I can offer. At number five, warm up. Warm up your body and your voice. Now, there are a lot of people that might look at you a little weird if you're just offset, kind of playing around and you know stretching and doing with your face but if you can really warm up your body warm up all the tools that you use such as your tongue and your mouth you're going to be able to speak better you're going to be able to deliver the lines better you'll be more effective as an actor so even if it, it's only for 10 or 15 minutes, get those tongue twisters done. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Get some kind of stretching done. It's really, really going to help you. Number four, know your lines. You might think that this one's a bit of a given, but know your lines and know them out loud practice them out loud there's a really really strange thing that happens where if you spend all your time learning your lines perfectly in your head when it comes time to speak them your ears just become a bit freaked out by the sound of your voice and all the lines just disappear from your head it's the worst feeling in the world so when you're learning your lines practice them out loud speak them out loud so you get used to the sound of your voice practice them with someone else don't just rehearse them in your head and number three acting is reacting so we don't just act in a bubble we're not acting you know on our own we are responding to everything around us responding to the scene to our environment to other actors other characters so you must be responding even when you're not speaking you need to be having a dialogue with other people on the stage or, or on the set even if you're not speaking there's still a two-way thing going on your face and your body language still be in the moment at number two given circumstances what are the given circumstances of the scene you are in or the entire piece the story that you're in so the given circumstances are all the facts or the actual um, nitty-gritty of the scene that you're in and these can be worked out by using the five w's so the first one is who am i so this is made up of all of the characters backstory all of the clues in the text all of the things that you've included perhaps from your own imagination but it's made up of uh, where the character has grown up uh, the kind of family they've grown up in um, their favorite ice cream their favorite food everything that makes up that character who are you who is that character who is that person the next one is where am I? So your geographical location. If you as a character are in your own home, that character is gonna be acting in a different way to let's say they're in a public space like a park or in a bank. Again, given circumstances affecting the way the character is responding and the way you are responding as that character. The next one is why am I there? So what has happened just before that moment or before that scene? What has happened for you as a character to be in that location, the backstory before that scene? Next we have, what time is it? So this is really gonna make a difference to the way you act as that character. Um, let's say it's two o'clock in the morning in the middle of a park that's really gonna affect the way you say your lines, the way you are uh, experiencing the world around you. If it's um, 
2 p.m. in the middle of the desert, okay? Time is gonna make a big difference the way you act. It can also be the time of the year as well. Is it summertime? Is it winter time? Again, given circumstances. And finally, what do I want? What does your character want? In fact, this one is so important, I've made it as tip number one, objectives. Now, the reason I put this at number one is because for me, it is the basis of all naturalistic, organic acting. It's a very Stanislavski technique. So rather than playing emotion, rather than trying to be happy or sad or angry, you work out what your character wants. It's just like, what's my motivation, man? A lot of people try and go for the emotion thing. It's, it's one of the first things I hear as a teacher. There'll be a student who'll say, oh, I really want to cry in this scene, or I really want to show everyone how angry I can get in this scene. And when you're going for emotion, sometimes you can get it, sometimes the inspiration strikes, but what if it doesn't, okay? Having an objective, having a motivation, working out what your character wants in that scene is gonna help you to organically, ting, organically come out with the emotion. It's, if you have got a character that wants something and they either get it or they don't, maybe the stakes are quite high, then it's really gonna help you create organic emotion. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave me a comment down below, maybe asking me an acting question or giving me a suggestion for a new video. Anyway, thanks for being here. See you next time.